Hello everyone. Now in this video I want to show you how to optimize your game to get maximum performance. Okay, the first part Optimizing geometry or three D models or create level of details using Simplegon. A A A Okay, the first part is optimizing your geometry uh, using simple legon. As you can see we have level of detail group with six 3D models. As you can see, the geometry looks same, but it's optimized very cool. As you can see, the simple agon is the best choice to create level of details. The first part of the optimizing is related to optimizing geometry as you can see I have optimized my 3D models simply on only works on Windows 10 you can't use on Windows 8 or 7. Here you can see your poly counts. For each model. This is the proxy mode here. This is useful for two high poly models. Okay. This is very advanced level of detail system. As you can see, we have millions polygon in the original mesh, and using proxy mode, we have only one textured model. This is the four part model with four texture, separate texture. This is the one model, optimized very well. without too much difference as you can see both look same uh, with a lot lower geometry polygons okay also you can see your holy counts here Uh, in the camera view 
reduce to the resolution here you can see poly count and I want to save all trees As you can see, the main poly counts in my scene is three models. So you must optimize your three models. This is the most important in poly count. Okay, the other models all are optimized using a lot of details. Okay, another tip is that using a simple standard shader as a water shader and a reflection probe as a water reflection this is very optimized shader the only uh, simple water shader only using albedo normal map and tally this is a very simple shader that you can use to get highest performance water ok then other tips is optimizing uh, train details you can optimize terrain geometry here you can see the poly count and another solution is using detail density Three distance don't work using speed three three models, only works with Unity all uh, three models. This values only works with Unity's own three models. Okay. Now I want to show you the result. Try a high resolution to compare frame rate on your CPU ok current frame rate without optimization I want to switch to standard shader instead of tessellation we have sixty-nine FPS so the tessellation terrain shader is not too much optimized for real-time games always use uh, standard shader for your train for real-time games and use tessellated shaders for non-real-time games also you can change it using in-game settings menu uh, you can reduce tessellation distance no it's not so much now you only have uh, 15 15 FPS
Okay, so use standard shader to optimize your game to get maximum frame rate. Another important solution is shadows quality. We have Okay, so you can use low shadow quality to get maximum performance. Performance is very well. Now I want to show you how to optimize lighting box settings. Here you can disable volumetric lighting, you can use sun shaft with normal quality, uh, you can use low quality for dip soft field, also you can save all skin in space reflections and use medium or low uh, ambient closure quality. Okay. It's out lighting box. It's lighting box. Okay. Another easy solution is using in-game settings menu. Drag into your scene. Now you can easily optimize your game. The grass intensity is very important in frame rate. Always use low.
Okay, as you can see, we have maximum performance easily. Easily, easily. Okay. Also, you can drag your old models into a single sim model and activate patching static to reduce dropout. Here, you can activate dynamic patching, static patching increase your frame rate okay i hope you'll land some